Hey, what's up guys? It's Darklad here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we made our way through Victory Road with a lot, a lot of torture. And today, we're here, and we're going to be taking on the Pokemon League. But before we do, uh, I want to be sure that I use... Actually, I kind of want that to... Need that. Um, uh, I want to sure I use these PP Max and PP Up because I'm more than likely going to need it in here. Um, might as well take that too. Because I was looking at the levels and I am fairly under level. So. This is going to certainly be an interesting time. Alright, um... I feel like giving a PP up to Thunder Punch would be a good idea. And I'm gonna PP up Fly. I've got one more PP max. Let me look at everyone's moves. Maybe mud shot. Um, blaze kick, definitely blaze kick. I got ten of those. Okay, and make sure I got some. Yes, okay, we're good. And always remember, gotta save before you go into very important places like the Pokemon League. Alright, let's go in. Okay. I'm jumpy. I'm jumpy right now. Okay. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me. Let's enjoy battle. No one can stay here at the Pokemon League. Okay, okay. What you got, Sydney? What you got? What you got? Oh my gosh. Why do you have to battle my champ right now? Okay, okay. Paulino's got this. Paulino's got this. We here. We here. Okay, okay. Okay. We live in. We live in. Is that cross chop? Good. No, there's no no guard. But we miss fly. Come on now. Or it's like in this game, does no guard work in a sense that um, brain fart? In the sense that like fly does count that it's gonna miss. Like that's what I'm kind of wondering right now. That should do like nothing. Okay, now these leftovers are actually coming in handy right now. There we go, miss that. I think that's his third cross chop. Okay, fly lands. Nice. It's revenge. That does a lot. It's probably gonna go for another cross chop. Even if I do have speed, I can't play on the risks I'm gonna miss fly. Like, it's just too inaccurate. He's like holding on to those, that last one or two cross chops for some reason. Even though he knows that's a more powerful move. Interesting. Oh, come on. 
You predicted it. Um, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We're here. We're here. Land this fly. Land this fly pole, you know. Right now. Come on. There we go. There we go. Kalino's my champ. Okay. Bring out a mill tank. Um. Um. Okay. Double kick. Body slam? How much is that gonna do? Oh, and you got the para. Come on now. It's gonna do half. There we go. It's looking good. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? Oh, come on now. That's not necessary. He's gonna heal too. Alrighty, guys, got a sneeze. Got a sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yep, he heals too. I think this is ace at 49. So let's try this again. Double kick. Don't you dare get the para again first time. Okay. I can't believe a mill tank how it's played to blaze again right now. That's what's really getting to me. Okay, no para. Thank you. Alright, that should be some juicy XP. Okay, some mill tank should be juice. Hit him on top. I really want to leave out Surya and just drill peck it, but Surya is just too low on HP, even though I can just instantly heal. That's still so high. That's actually really troubling. Um, do I still want to stay in? I feel like I should see how much fly does. And you have detect. This thing's gotta make the hard choices for what it's gonna do. Either do massive damage to me, or yeah, it's the only choice. Like massive damage to me, or um, or protecting itself. That's crazy. Okay, go for detect again and fail. That's what I need you to do right now. Okay, he went for counter. Oh, he... Okay. The only plus side to this is, is that I know that rapid spin won't do that much. And he won't heal this, so it's okay. Okay, there we go. Whew. I think that's like three Pokemon down right now. A Scyther. That's pretty easy. 
except I'm missing both of my things I could take this out easy. Well, okay, here, I can take advantage of its flying type. Actually, if I really want to do that, I could just use, um, Peep and just underbunched it. How much is this going to do? Enough. That's going to hurt. Okay. Makes it feel a little bit better that it's a crit. And I know you won't heal. Interesting. You wouldn't heal the uh, hip on top, but you heal the scyther. Interesting choices. Okay, I should be able to crit from Slash now. It's not even a crit. Okay, high roll this right now. High roll this Aurora Beam. There we go. Thank you, Fat. Shut Nina's got this. Nima. Use pursuit. Wow. All right, Nima. I see you there. Okay, guys, one member down. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go far. Now, go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Okay. I feel like literally every battle here is going to be terrifying for me. Because I almost lost Paulina to counter... I'm just gonna keep leading fat because there's very few things that fat can't fight. <laughs> I'm baby of lead four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight, so come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. We'll see if Phoebe here even has ghost type Pokemon. Because I kind of doubt it. Hmm, I'm soaking. I got the perfect thing for you. I'm actually a bit curious how much it's going to do to a slowking. Okay, I think it's a 3 kill. Ooh, and the para. Okay, it would have been a 3 kill. Alright, I feel like it's worth the chance. That's got this. Look at it. Nope. Oh. I'd really enjoy for that paralysis to work once for me. Like, if it hadn't disabled me, that would have been great. I don't think I've actually used Peep yet. That Psychic did way too much for my liking. A Beedrill. Okay, that's pretty easy. There shouldn't be... Unless Beedrill is, like, toxic, which that'd be really annoying. That was a crit. 
Oh, this is her ace, I think. What? I don't remember. Did the gym leaves in this region periodically go up? I guess we're gonna find out. Yes, they do. She has 249, so it's definitely not her ace. Which kinda sucks, because that would have been a nice easy one. Nope, that's her ace. It's probably the best thing it has for me, it's a powder. Yep. It's time to use Blaze Kick. And gone. Yep. Ooh, Surya. Just out for blood, I swear. I feel like I'm so hunter leveled to be doing this right now. There we go. Perfect for Bila. Just oh no, this is her ace. Ooh. I did not expect crunch. I expect him like poison tail. Alright, lower that speed so the music gets the next one in easy. Good. Now do we have speed? Oh, uh, what do you have? Oh come on. All of their aces must have citrus berries. Oh, yeah, speed. Okay, we're gonna knock out right here. Yes. There we go, Bila. We're out here. We're halfway through the league right now. It's almost not a bad idea to teach you this. If you did not have surf and waterfall, I would definitely teach it to you. There's definitely a, a bond between you and your Pokemon. I didn't realize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. That one was not nearly as bad. I feel like I had better answers for stuff. I don't really feel like it's worth healing Surya. Oh, wait, no, no I, I know what I can do. There we go. Okay, I don't remember what the next member's name is. I am Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by the weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Glacia. Not a memorable person for me for some reason. That Tauros is certainly going to be memorable though. Oh boy, what am I about to do to this thing? Let me test out how much surf to. Oh gosh, you have thrash. Okay. I'm sure so I can low ball this with an Aurora Beam right now. Hoping he'll get confused after his next turn. Or this turn. It's definitely not worth it to take the risk though, because I do not outspeed this thing.
I was just very scared to switch Surya in on this Tauros because I did not know what it was going to do. Because I... Oh, wait. That might put him in a spot where he will heal. Oh, come on now. You couldn't just not hit yourself. That, this is our ace, first of all. But that was a very interesting choice. Another very interesting choice. You set up the rain whenever I have a water type already out. And then you send out a pseudo voodoo. Very interesting. I, I truly cannot understand her plays right now. Like unless that thing is sturdy, I, I am I'm actually lost right now. Cause I'm pretty sure in this region, weather lasts the entire battle. Let's see how good Surf is. Ooh. Um, he only used one full restore, so he should use another one. Oh. Or he realized that Taurus is kind of a lost cause and could only thrash. And I need to switch out now. I need to switch out anyways. Because there's no way I'm going to fight a Hypno very well. I guess it wasn't a race. They're just tricking me up with the levels of their aces. Okay, that did not do enough. Okay. I really don't want that to happen. Um, let's go for the Leaf Blade. That didn't do anything more. What about try attack Let me see if I can get something on this thing. Oh, switch to Psychic. Okay. Um, that is way too much. Okay, you have the most. Oh my gosh, I saw just so much damage. Just 50. Okay, I really need to get the para right now. Thank you. Thank you, that's fantastic. And you still don't get paralyzed. Hypno is so bulky. There's not too many good dark type moves that can even hit him in this generation. Okay, he must have low rolled that one. Let's have him use up a psychic. On the plus side, I'm not poisoned, because that would be very annoying right now. Oh, come on now. Please tell me you don't have another full story right now. Because this thing took forever to get down. You do. Okay. Great. This is gonna take forever. And I'm gonna have to keep healing constantly.
Okay, got the para. Psychic lands. That's too high for me to safely use a move. As far as I can think, that's not going to help him at all. Okay, he should be almost out of psychics too. Like, if he isn't now, then he's about to be. And the only other move he really has to hit me with is poison gas. Oh yes, headbutt. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I did not expect a level 52 uh, Hypno to have headbutt still. Okay. That scared me a lot after the meditates. Okay, gold duck. Peeps got it. I really love that nickname, Peep. It's just like... Getting that thunder punch ready, and oh, this is the race. Thunder punch ready, and just like peep this and just smack him in the face. Oh, peep's got this. You good, peep? You got it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know if it's gonna take out though. This thing's quite a bit above me. Yeah. But I did get the para. You're gonna have citrus berry, naturally. So if Thunder Punch lands, which peeps a champ, that's okay. That was a bad choice on my part. But peeps a champ. Peep is a champion. See, we are we are just here. We're ready. We're going. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Okay. So, we're about halfway through the League, and I... You know what? I was going to end the episode, but this is just going to be another extended episode because we're just going to finish out this game right now. Until we take on Drayden, I think it is. Arr! I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Drake is my... Drake the Dragon Master! In their natural state, Pokemon are wild and... Wild living things. They're free! At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to master, for us to battle with Pokemon as partners. Do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. I lost that pirate voice for him, but he, he is definitely a pirate. Like, he's got the stash. He's got the jacket cape. That is quite a lead for the, uh fourth member of the Elite Four. That really tells me the amount of moves that Eggly Buff learns. I mean, I guess it's never meant to be kept as Eggly Buff. So I guess Drake is just not good with friendship. Man, I still don't get it. Chin Chow. Um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I talked about this. We have an answer to it. Bela's got that mud shot. Honestly, mud shot would have been a good move to uh, use that PP up on. This? No, this isn't his ace. I feel like it goes like 56 or something. Mm, 
I don't like that. I do not like that. Okay, nice, Vila. Good job. Nice. Over the speed. I wouldn't think Chinchou is that fast. Oh, yes, Vila. There we go. So 54 is the highest that I've seen him have. So let's see if that was his ace. Pidgeotto. Fifty-three. So no. So far, looks in, looking like that might have been his ace. Good job, Peep. Killing things seven levels above us. Swinub. Swinub's about to catch this surf. I'm still looking for that ice beam, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Which is a little disappointing. I think that actually was his ace, was 54. Because he normally has, like, uh, the four normally have two that are, like, right below their ace, and there have been two 53s right here. There we go. Oh no. I was wrong. Snubble is his ace. Wow. Surya is just here like he should just give you an answer to everything. He's a crit master. Arr, you deserve every credit. For you deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You just, you do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn from them. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go! Go onward! The champion is waiting! I feel like right towards the end, that's what it should be. It's a little more raspy. Wow, I did not take a lot of hits in that battle. Okay guys, here it is. The champion of the Pokemon League. <gasps> Welcome, Doc. That accident in Sutopolis City. That was superb work putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now! Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. Here it is, guys. Here it is. This is the finale. The finale. He's an ace trainer. That's actually hilarious. He's a little 57 to start. Okay. Please don't confuse me first time like this last time. Thank you. My highest is eight levels below his eight, his start. Like that's actually crazy. It's gonna be a miracle for me to pull this off. I'm just so nervous right now. I, I, I like, I don't even know like what to say. It's just, I feel like it's just gonna like come down to the wire. I'm not gonna take this thing out if I hit it with another Thunderbolt. So I'm gonna hit with an Aurora Beam. We're gonna pro play this right now. Oh, but you get a cr fat wrong time to get a credit. Like if I if I just would have used Thunderbolt, then it would have been fine. But oh, man, that's gonna heal. Um, 
Well, since I know he's gonna heal, I could switch out into Peep. But is that really gonna help that much? I feel like it will. Now let's see how much Thunder Punch does to the Skull Duck. I know it's... Okay, he's gonna screech me. Kinda scary. Cause I don't know what other music has besides confusion. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna take him out right here with the Thunder Punch. Yes! Hmm. Peep this. I feel like that's forever going to be the name of my um, Amphrosis now. You know, honestly, that wouldn't be a bad play to um, Screech with like a Gold Duck and then um, send out like a Grand Bull, because you know Grand Bull's got some powerful uh, moves that are, again, escaping me. Like this, yeah, takedown. Perfect example. Was that a crit? That was not a crit. Oh my gosh. Okay, who's got some physical defense? <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy. Like, Blaze can have some of the highest physical defense on my team, and that did that much. I, get, I, I have to switch to that. <laughs> No. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, he's got to do it right here. Got got to hit this double kick right now. We aren't we aren't knocked down by the intimidate anymore. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't believe I lost fat in the last battle. From start to finish. That's so sad. It, it, it just got it just got the crit like I honestly need Surya more than I need fat at the moment. Cause I have another water type. And there's no way that um, Blaziken was going to be able to take out from that range with double kick and having the intimidate on him. So there's, I, I, I did the logical play of switching on to my thing with the most defense. It just happened to crit me that time. That's just kind of annoying. I really should have picked up a blue flute too. That would have been nice. I'm just saying these lava cookies lasted me all the way from like before Lava Ridge. And they're still here in the uh, champion battle. It's gonna take one double kick to knock this Chansey out. So close. I mean, I'm fine with him using his four stars on his Chansey. That would actually be great. And if he actually sends out something scary that's hard to beat, then uh, he won't have any way to heal it. Yep, we stop right there again. I, I'm fine with this. We can just chill here for all I care. There we go. All it took was a little bit of a high roll on that second kick. Wow. 
Champion had Pidgey and Spiro. I don't think he sent out his ace yet. Yeah, I think his ace is going to be his last one here. Which I am a little scared. But at the same time, not to see what it is. Because I feel like I've got a pretty balanced team to be able to take this thing out. Like, I still have five members to take this thing out. And it's a Chikorita. This ace is a Chikorita. Good time for that light screen to wear off. There it is. Sadly, we had that one casualty. That one crit is all it took. That Grand Bull was actually really scary. The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times, they danced like a spring breeze, and at times, they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance, that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance, and now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you the new Hoenn region. Da, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Huh? What? What? Doc, could it be that it's already over? <laughs> See, this is why this what I tell you, May. Didn't I tell you that you and didn't I tell you that you didn't need to worry about Doc? Doc, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalbark Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion? Ah yes! What came of your Pokedex? Let me see. Hmm. You've seen 178 Pokemon, and you've got 32? Well, it could use some more quantity, but this is looking more like a Pokedex now. Anyways, congratulations! And now, go proudly into the final room. Doc, now, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion, come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Uh, I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Doc, honestly, congratulations. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that previously that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League champions are honored. Come on. Let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of your partners who battled with you. And the one who made it all the way here, but just not quite through the battle. That, that's so sad, honestly. Like, I, I got Dugong, there he is. I got Fat all the way here and just couldn't hold on to him. Terry and Fat have been with me for so long, honestly. It almost took me 30 hours of gameplay. Alright. So, guys, I want to thank you for all the support that I've had for this. This is my very first project that I have done. And I this is my first YouTube channel. And... The support has been great from you guys. Um, I basically started off from nothing. I got a lot of um, different things to help me out, like changing uh, different audio, and everyone just wanted to help me, and that was great. And um, I really wouldn't be where I am without you guys, and uh, I don't really know what to say. Like, 
it's been great being able to do this. I, I feel more relaxed doing this than I have in a long time. And I want to keep doing this and bringing content to you guys because th this is what I love to do. I love playing these games and I I don't mind talking about them. I, I really actually enjoy it because um, it's making you guys happy. It can give you guys some smiles for me doing some kind of weird voice. And that's fine with me. Like, I don't mind that at all. So I am going to ask for your continued support on this channel like um whenever i bring out some kind of new project or just you guys telling me like what you want to see like i would appreciate some kind of support or some kind of feedback um for what i could do better for you guys um now when i bring out a next project is contingent on you guys um at least for a solo project it's contingent on you guys for how fast you respond to my question that's been up for a little while uh once i have some kind of lead then it probably won't be too long until i get the next project out uh but until then um i do currently have my soul link going on with a uh, sleeve card and you guys can always uh start watching that we're not too far in so it'd be a good time to get started on it um but once again, thank you guys. Um, I did a great job at reaching my goal, which was 10 subscribers for my first project by the end. And I believe I ended with 15. And that's great. Like, I, I went above my goal, and I hope to be able to uh, keep reaching higher and higher goals. But I can only do that with the support of you guys. So just thank you for everything that you have done. And... This has been Dr. Club, and for the last time, uh, remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so have some pineapple.